हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल सिविलॉजी द स्टडी ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू पुट एन एंड टू दिस कंफ्यूजन दैट अमंग दीस फोर डिफरेंट फार्मूलास फॉर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वेट ऑफ स्टील व्हिच वन इज करेक्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फोर डिफरेंट फार्मूलास एंड हाउ टू डिराइव दीस फार्मूलास okay and in the end i will tell you how can we find the weight of the steel bar by using these four different formulas so you guys are requested to watch complete video and if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates so let's start our today's topic so let us first derive the formula for uh, for the units kg per meter and kg per feet okay the formula to calculate the weight is volume of the steel multiplied by density of the steel so for this you will have to know the density of the steel and we know that the density of a steel is 7850 kg per cubic meters okay and if we convert it into millimeters as the dia of the bars are given in millimeters okay so here is uh, the most important point that these two formulas are used when guys listen it carefully these two formulas are used when the dia of the bar is given in millimeters okay when the dia of the bar is given in millimeters then you will use these two formulas okay watch the complete video and focus on the screen okay so and the diameter of bar is given in millimeters so we will convert this into millimeters and we will get this value okay and by using the formula volume of the steel multiplied by density of the steel and we know that volume of the steel is area times length area of a bar which is circular in shape so the area of any circular shape is pi by 4 d square times multiply by length we will get the volume of the steel and if we multiply it with density of the steel we will get let's suppose we have a bar whose length is le length is uh, l okay and the diameter is d and that diameter should be in millimeters okay so we will get this value if we multiply this and the area of the steel and leaving the d at its place because it is variable and we will have to find the areas of different sizes of the bars using different diameters so we will leave d at its place okay and 1000 is the unit length 1 meter we are calculating for a uh, weight of the 1 meter of the bar okay so if you look at this this is the value of the pi multiplied by the density of the steel divided by 4 we got this value okay okay as you can see over here and if we then multiply it by 1000 we get this value 0.00 as you can see over here in this line okay so by simplifying by doing some maths we can write it as d square divided by that the denominator the value in numerator will be divided in uh, in the denominator okay as it is a basic maths okay so we will get this value when divided by 0.0061625 we get this value 162.278 okay so this is the formula we can write it as d square divided by 162 kg per meter so when you will have to calculate the uh, length length is given in meters and you have to calculate the weight in kg so you will use this formulas and again i am mentioning that the diameter of the bar should be given in millimeters then you will have to use this formula so let and again as we know that we are calculating in kg per feet and we know that 1 meter is equal to 3.2804 feet and by doing some maths that is d square divided by and we will multiply this square uh, 
uh, this value with 3.2804 we will get d square divided by 533 kg per fit okay so by using these two formulas you can calculate the weight in kg okay this is for per meter and this is for per fit if the length of the bar is in fit and weight is in kgs you will use this formula and when the length of the bar is given in meters and you will have to calculate the weight in kgs use this formulas and the dia of the bar should be in millimeters so you will use these two formulas i hope you are getting my point let proceed to our next two formulas that is lb per fit and kg per fit okay and it is very uh, pertinent to mention over here that diameter for these two formulas should be in sutra and as we know that density of the steel is 490 lbs per fit lbs per fit in fps system foot pound second system the density of the steel is 490 lb per fit and if we talk about sutra sutra is the unit which is normally uh, used in asian countries number 4 means uh, these diameter of the bars are given as number 4 number 5 number 6 number 16 and up to so on this number 4 means 4 by 8 inches as we are talking uh, we are talking about fps system so the units will be in inches and feet okay number 4 means 4 by 8 inches number 5 means 5 by 8 inches number 6 means 6 by 8 inches okay similarly uh, number 10 means 10 by 8 inches and as we know that 1 inch is equal to 8 sut it's mean that 1 inch is divided into 8 equal parts okay you are getting my point i hope and one fit similarly if 1 inch is equal to 8 sut then one fit will be equal to 96 sut okay so by to calculate the weight we will use the same formula that is volume of the steel divided by density of the steel and the volume of the steel is area times length and then density of the steel will be multiplied and the area of the steel is pi by 4 d square multiplied by length length is the unit length of the bar okay unit length if we are talking about fpa system it is feet and if we are talking for about mk system it is meter the unit length is feet over here okay and as we discussed over here that one feet is equal to 96 sut and it is again uh, it is very pertinent to mention that the diameter should be in sutras as we discussed earlier for those two formulas the diameter should be in millimeters but for these two formulas the diameter should be in sutra when diameter is given in sutra you will use these two formulas okay so by putting values that is 3.14 is the value of the pi multiply by 96 96 is the unit length which is equal to 1 fit 96 sut okay 460 divided by this is the density of the steel and by converting fit as this is cubic fit okay this here is the mistake this is lb per cubic fit and for cubic fit we will multiply 96 Three times, okay. It's mean 96 cube. So 4 multiplied by 96 cube, we will get this value, okay. 0.041 into d square. And again, doing some maths, we will divide it in denominator, and we will get this value 23.95, 23.95, and it is approximately equal to 24 lb per fit. so by using this formula you can calculate the weight of the steel in lbs and if the if the length is given in feet okay and diameter should be given in sutar you will use this formula similarly we can convert it into kg per fit and as we know that 1 kg is equal to 2.204 lbs and if we uh, convert it or it we converse it 1 lb is equal to 0.4537 and by multiplying this value 0.4537 with this value we will get and again doing some maths and we will get this value that d square divided by 52.896 and it is approximately equal to 
kg per fit so again if you want to calculate the weight of the steel in lbs per fit use this formula if you want to calculate the weight of the steel in kg per fit then use this formula and for these two formulas the dia of the bar should be taken in sutras okay that is sutra is actually the 1 by 8th of the inch okay 1 inch is divided into 8 equal parts so uh, going towards the last part of the video that how to calculate weight of the steel using these four formulas as you can see over here there are four different formulas to calculate weight of the steel bars in different systems of the unit let's suppose we have a bar whose length is l and diameter is d as i discussed earlier for these two formulas the dia of the bar should be in millimeters okay so and for these two formulas the diameter should be in number of the bar okay that is by 8 inches F number 4 means 4 by 8 okay 4 by 8 inches so by putting values 12 as a diameter of the bar is 12 mm by simply putting the value 12 square divided by 533 you will get the weight in kg per fit similarly if you want to calculate in kg per meters use this formula 12 square 12 is the diameter of the bar divided by 162 you will get value in kg per meters which is 0.88 kg per meter similarly for other two formulas the number 4 bar number 4 means 4 square divided by 24 you will get the value as 0.66 lb per fit similarly uh, for this value 4 square divided by 52.9 you will get the weight of the steel in kg per fit now if you look at these values this is also kg per fit kg per fit and this is also kg per fit and the only difference is if you round it a uh, round it round this value you will get 0.3 which are approximately close to this value okay so that's how you can use these four different formulas for calculation of weight of the steel as you desired or as you want to get the value so that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today